Energy Commission is pleased to be partners with the South Coast Air Quality Management District on this hydrogen fueling station. This station will be number 11 in an initial network of 100 stations that will allow people who are driving hydrogen fuel cell vehicles to begin to have opportunities to refuel around our state. Our cars pollute a lot less than they used to, but we still have 13 million cars in the region. So even a little bit of pollution from each of them adds up to a lot of pollution overall. Then you add on top of that all the trucks and the ships and the planes and the trains and transportation sources become the major problem we're dealing with. About 80% of the emissions that we need to reduce come from those transportation sources. What we have to do is we have to provide alternatives, viable alternatives to people to use alternative fuel transportation. The fuel cell vehicle, you've got hydrogen in the tank, and that's converted directly into electricity, which runs an electric motor. So it's very, very efficient. It's about two times as efficient or more than an internal combustion engine. And so uh, the benefit there is you get a much more efficient vehicle. Uh, the conversion process of energy is much more efficient, and there's no pollution. So you just get the creation of water vapor. With this station, drivers in the South Coast region can seriously consider buying a hydrogen fuel cell electric vehicle. Fuel cell electric vehicles have driving ranges that are comparable to a gasoline powered engine and they fuel like traditional gasoline powered cars too. Previous to this particular station opening today, it would take up to approximately a half hour to fill up a car with four to five kilograms. Now this can be done within uh, five minutes and you can pay for it with a credit card before you could not do that. Hyundai has already introduced their Tucson, which is a fuel cell sport utility vehicle. Toyota's Mirai sedan, and Mirai, which means the future is here now, today, and Honda will be releasing their fuel cell vehicle as well. Everybody's been able to sit down and, and give input into this. The manufacturers of the fuel in the stations, the manufacturers of the cars, the regulatory bodies, the funding agencies, uh, that represents the taxpayers' dollars. So we've all come together and say, what is the best way to get this zero emission type of energy on the market? When you ask the experts at the Air Resources Board and our staff here at South Coast AQMD what role that fuel cell vehicles are going to play in the future, they say that we will never get to clean air unless we have the really deep penetration of fuel cell vehicles, that all the vehicles that are sold 10, 20 years from now are alternative fuel vehicles, zero emission vehicles, and fuel cell vehicles they think hold the best promise for providing the type of range that we're going to need. These near zero and zero emission technologies also provide economic opportunity for leadership in research and development, for leadership in the manufacture and deployment of these new options, and in the creation of green jobs. You know, in many ways, hydrogen is the perfect fuel. Hydrogen provides the best pathway to energy independence, to sustainability, to energy efficiency, and zero emissions. It's abundant. It's the most efficient on a wells-to-wheels -wheels basis, produces no tailpipe emissions when used in a fuel cell, and is sustainable when it's made from biogas or other waste gas streams. The hydrogen that you're fueling in your vehicles today off of this station has 33% renewables, and you can't say that with gasoline. The other great aspect of hydrogen is you can actually do it 100% renewable if you have the feedstock, right? So you could take many different things. You can take water, you can take uh, biogas, you can take other renewable resources and make hydrogen. So there's really the great potential for having a renewable fuel, and that's one of the great aspects that we love about hydrogen. So thank you to all of you for helping us move another mile ahead on this journey to a sustainable economy based on clean, reliable energy, and healthier communities. I must say, and I can't emphasize this enough, we value all of you as our partners and as champions of clean air. Thank you all for joining with us.